And I don't know that I'm one of the bastions of hockey in Pittsburgh. I don't think of myself that way. But to see what it's become, to see what it means to people, to see people openly weeping when they win the cup, including yours truly, circle of life. It's come full circle. And I'm just really grateful to have been a, a part of it. I'm grateful to have been a part of Pittsburgh sports for this long. Who knew? <laughs> Who figured? Well, first of all, the honor was all mine, the way <laughs> things turned out. Uh, my longtime partner on both radio and TV, Guy Junker, ironically, earlier in the summer, had his roof replaced. I mentioned to him that I was having a problem with mine, discovered that I was going to need a new one. Did he have any recommendation? He said, hey, the people who did my roof did a great job. I was really pleased. They're terrific. He gave me the name, he gave me the number, and so the next thing, I made a call. Tremendous. I made a call within a couple of days. Someone came out to inspect it to assure me that I did indeed need a new roof. They assessed it. They gave me an estimate right away. Um, we talked. We agreed. They had a sample. And we picked it out right there, and really within a half an hour, we were done. I absolutely, I couldn't have been more pleased with the quality, the work, the roof, the timing. They came exactly when they said they would. They were done in a day and a half. The cleanup was meticulous. I couldn't have been more pleased. Following the news that local Pittsburgh legend Stan Salvran has died at the age of 76. A Pittsburgh sports broadcaster best known for his coverage of the Steelers, Stan Salvran had become a hugely important figure in the world of Pittsburgh sports. Stan was certainly dedicated to his job and to his many royal listeners and now those people who tuned in every day want to know what Stan's cause of death was. Here is what we know about his death. Over the course of his career, Stan worked for a number of different networks across both television and radio. Regardless of where he was, though Stan could always be counted on to offer his opinions completely unfiltered. In 2022, Stan announced that he was battling lung cancer and in April 2023, he had to have his foot amputated as a result of the cancer. Despite the serious health issues, he continued to work until the winter of 2022. Stan likely died due to cancer and the resulting complications. Stan died at his home in Upper St. Clair. For many Pittsburgh locals, Stan was best known as the host of Sports Beat, a long-running sports talk show that served the Pittsburgh market for decades. Originally from Cleveland, Ohio, Stan took pride in the fact that he managed to convince his massive audience in Pittsburgh that he was one of their own. Following the news that Stan had died, many important Pittsburgh citizens released statements on his passing, including Steelers President Art Rooney II. Today is a sad day in the city of Pittsburgh as we lost a legendary person, media icon and close friend with the passing of Stan Salvan. He was a gentleman in every way possible, and he did so much for our city and Western Pennsylvania with his honesty, candor, and knowledge of all sports, both locally and nationally, the statement read. May he so rest in peace and thank you so much for watching.